Well, it could soon get a little pricier when it comes to parking. Yeah, a plan to grow parking means uh, premium for spots in the next 15 months. That's right. And 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith is joining us live this morning with more on this. So, Matthew, the goal is to make things better downtown, but what does this mean in the short term? Well, as they have to decide on what they're going to do with a lot of these things, one of the things they're looking at doing is shuttles and ride sharing to get people in and out of downtown because we know parking is going to be at a premium. Either way, they're shutting down a parking lot to build something. So one of the things they're going to look at to pay for it is going to actually be increase the amount we all pay to park here in Ferndale. It could soon cost a little more to park downtown. I would still pay it. I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't like to, but I would still pay it. It's kind of hard for, you know, people that don't make a ton of money to come here. What you're getting for that money, though, a new parking garage. It's a big, it's a big project, delivering a lot of public infrastructure goals and a lot of economic goals. For now, downtown Ferndale is going to be without one of its biggest parking lots for 12 to 15 months. What they're adding here, this a 400 space parking garage with office space above. Now, the goal here is to add foot traffic with that office space because as it stands right now, it's kind of a ghost town down here during the day. We know it might be a little painful at times due to the parking challenges. There's a lot of things we've put in place uh, to try to help uh, calm some of that so people have options for getting down here and, and they're not uh, kind of hunting around for a parking space all the time. How they do it? The city struck a deal for extra parking spaces with a business that helps Thursday and Friday night all day Saturday too. But businesses could still take a beating. Don't forget construction woes up the road and Royal Oak left unrest. Restaurants simply left. Ferndale says they've done their homework though. Talks with residents, extra planning. This is very personal to all business owners, right? They have they have personal investments and in, in time and in, in financing in their in their businesses. So we understand that. We wanted to minimize disruption as possible. So, Matthew, we heard from some people complaining about the increase in parking. How's for a deal dealing with it? Well, a lot of this is going to be messaging. They say that the goal was is for the people that park to always pay for the parking structures that are going in the city. Now, the good news is people have their say on how all of this works. They have a city council meeting tonight. They're going to vote on all of these things. So if you want your voice heard, head on over to our website after the show, WXYZ.com. We're breaking down all the different things that they'll be voting on, including that hike for the price that you pay to park here in downtown Ferndale. We'll see what happens. Matthew Smith, thank you for that live update. We